Hey folks, welcome to Tech Dragon Hub. Today we are diving into the slick and speedy world of Kubuntu 25.04 and I'll show you how to do minimum installation perfect for those who want full control, less bloat and lightweight KIDI Plasma desktop. I think the minimum installation is really underappreciated and more distribution should do the minimum installation. Basically you will get just the essentials, the Plasma desktop, core system utilities, no office suits, no extra application, perfect if you want to build your system your way. <coughs> now I'm using a VMware over here in a virtual machine, so let's proceed uh, with the installation. And let's see what the minimum installation comes with. So we will go directly with install Kubuntu because we want to showcase the minimal installation. And for those that are not aware, Kubuntu is official flavor from Ubuntu featuring the KD Plasma desktop environment. And I think the most beautiful desktop environment available on Linux. And over here is the choice to do the minimum installation, uh, basically only the desktop environment with some basic utilities. So you will not get web browsers, uh, office software, games, uh, media players, etc. So let's, since this is a virtual machine, let's choose the erase disk. Uh, Just call Dragon. I will I should. I will not set a password because it's a virtual machine and just out of convenience. Let's just leave it blank. So through the magic of video editing, I'll get back once this hits 100% and the installation is finished and we can proceed with the next steps. So through the magic of video editing, we are back again and the only step is restart. Like we cannot choose anything else, so let's go ahead and reboot. I think it's really underappreciated the minimal installation and that's why I want to showcase uh, this minimal installation of Kubuntu because I I really use unconventional applications and when I install a distribution I spend quite a lot of time uninstalling everything and installing the application and tools I actually like to use and this saves me so much trouble and time just having this clean vanilla KD Plasma experience with no bloat on it. It's it's really beautiful. So let's make the screen a bit bigger so it's easier for you to see what is going on. And let's take a look which applications are pre-installed over here. I expect really minimum 
installation so we have arc uh, we have gate and that's that's everything you don't have browser you don't have uh, any office suite it's it's just clean installation and let's take a look at system monitor so let's see resource usage so out of the box is around 1.4 gigabytes which for this beautiful kd plasma i think it's it's a really really good usage of ram so let's take a look at um info center so we see which kd plasma version it's come so it's kd plasma version 6.3.4 <coughs> and kernel version is 6.14 so up to date on on both fronts um one thing to bear in mind in discover so if you want to use snap you love it or hate it a lot of debate coming around that um so leave in the comments down below what's your take on it i don't know if this is like a bug or they really keep true to the meaning of minimum installation so snap is not there at all you have the option to install flat pack if that's your preference but let's let's complete this installation and just uh, <coughs> install snap so all you need to do is sudo apt install snapd we didn't set passwords for convenience now that comes in handy so let's just install the snap uh, do another reboot to make sure how the settings are applied and let's let's browse the discover after that and see if we get snap uh, choices over there uh. excellent um we are back let's look at discover now and try to install some application so the funds begins over here with the minimum install you can choose your applications let's search for opera to see if the browser is there and you can see on the right corner you have the snap version of it uh, like I said, if you really want, you can also enable Flatpak. And there is a lot of opinions on this one. I honestly think for the general ecosystem of the Linux desktop environment, it's a good uh, thing to have Snap and Flatpak because it really makes it easy for developers to develop their apps packet in a specific package format and just don't worry about gazillions of distribution out there and it really makes it easy for them and we see more and more developers doing that uh, either producing snap or Flatpak package and they are not providing any other official support for RPM or the packages so I can see already the Opera icon is down in the taskbar that's a good sign <coughs> let's skip a bit ahead from the installation and I'll be back with you in a minute. Done. 
now it's done so installation is done uh, as you can see now we have the internet category over here opera is there so snaps works as is standard so enjoy uh, leave comments down below if you find something interesting or you want to add something and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video